Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Richard Taylor. I am a senior escalation engineer for Premier Support at Microsoft. And uh, I was going to talk to you today about opening support tickets and what to do and sort of go what to expect and kind of what uh, is available in terms of options of support and, and so forth. Assuming you need help with an Office add-in issue, uh, we have several options available, but the first thing we'd want to sort of point you to is to check out our documentation portal and the troubleshooting articles that we have. Here are three listed articles, uh, troubleshooting development errors, uh, troubleshooting user errors, and the resource limits and performance optimizations. Uh, these are good articles relating to a lot of known issues that we have regarding doing add-in development. Uh, you probably, some of you, have maybe be familiar with this already, so this is not new, but it's a good resource to go to to make sure that you're 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 finding the latest and we are updating them uh, so they are getting current and new information that's being added to them assuming you need more help than that however uh, we do have a series of options with that are available for support um, the first being our community and QA answer forums uh, concierge services and premier services each one offers different options in my term of good, better, and best. It's basically in terms of the amount of resources that are available for each particular uh, item. Community and answer forums is requires no subscription. Anybody can open an issue. MVP and MS agents do review those, and those do get percolate up to support if enough people uh, respond on the thread. So uh, it's basically triggered by uh, responses and or if agents pick up something that seems to be very hot or very critical, they can open an issue uh, indirectly from the forum. We do have what's called a supportability program manager that routinely reviews and gets reports. They send those reports out and so we do see those. Uh, so support is aware of some of the, of the issues that are on the forums and bring that to the attention of the product group when we can, uh, it, when something gets hot. If the other way is through concierge services, but this is the Office 365 Admin Center or Admin Portal. On this page, you can open a request for its support on any issue regarding O365. This does require a subscription. Uh, generally, uh, for add-in development, it requires usually an enterprise. There are some business licenses that would also allow it. It depends on your license, but enterprise definitely. The portal self-service. And any person uh, that is supporting you or helping you on that can RFC to the product group for assistance. Uh, our best option uh, for support, though, is Premier, if you have a Premier contract. It could be yourself has a Premier contract, or it could be a customer you're working with has a Premier contract. It is the best. And the reason it's the best is because there's a dedicated developer support team of engineers on the support side who do nothing but office add-in development. That is what they do. So that that's the best group to talk to. Obviously, you also get uh, critical hotfix support, and there's even the availability of on-site support. So if you're dealing with a nasty issue where uh, a problem is occurring only on a customer site, works everywhere else, but this particular customer is having problems and you can't resolve it or can't find a way to it, Premier does have the ability to send a PFE engineer, that's what's called Premier Field Engineers, on-site to actually investigate the issue uh, on-site. So I'm going to give you a quick demo. This is basically, well, I decided instead of doing a video because um, I wasn't sure how well it was going to work, uh, I was going to go ahead and just do it as a sort of a slide deck here. If you go to the Office 365 Admin Center, so this is admin.microsoft.com, you will be presented with this page. You do require, you either need to be uh, the admin for the uh, subscription or you need to be somebody that has been designated by the admin as a portal user. Uh, so the admin can set up other additional users as support contacts or as admin users uh, to get to this portal. But once you do, uh, you'll have you'll have sign in with your Live ID account or Microsoft account, and you will see essentially this sort of site and page. Uh, there's two ways to create an incident. One is there's a little option here in the support thing to request a new incident. Uh, there's also this little pop-up that appears in the bottom right-hand corner that just says need help. Uh, you can also click on that. When you do that, it'll bring up this side pane. You just enter what you need help with, and then you press the get help button. 
And essentially what that'll do is it'll provide some, it'll try to do some diagnostic on what, what your issue is, it'll provide you if there's service outages and things like that. But other than that, it'll provide these options. And of course the options to let us call you or email us is what you wanna use. And when you use those and you hit send, your case is open and somebody will get back in touch with you. A support engineer will get back in touch with you as soon as they can. So that's how you basically use the admin portal. It's pretty simple, it's self-explanatory almost, but just wanna make sure that you are aware that you can use that for any enterprise subscription that you have for O365. The way uh, that we sort of prefer currently, uh, so the admin portal is going to, it does handle premier accounts, but it, it, it needs to be improved. <laughs> We're working on it. We know it. Uh, so if you have a premier account, the way that we still recommend you use it is use Service Hub. So Service Hub is where all premier and partner uh, accounts are able to create tickets for any Office product. It doesn't have to be related to Office specifically, but you can. And this is servicehub.microsoft.com. Uh, again, the admin can set up support contacts who is allowed in the company to view this portal and, and edit through this portal and you have to, or you could be the admin. When you go to the service hub, it's again, the easiest way to do is go to the support tab, go to contact support, and then they will bring up a, another window here. And what you want is the middle option uh, with the blue button where you click and you say contact support. Essentially, it'll then take you to a form. Where you request uh, what your issue is, what product you're dealing with, and how you want to be contacted back and so forth. Um, and again, that'll open an issue. Uh, as long as you say add in development and working with that, you should get to the right team anytime on Premiere. And that should probably open that ticket for you and get that firm. When you get the support case, the support case number is what will be provided to you uh, on the response. Uh, we ask that you add that to any title of any of uh, uh, any subject line on any email communications or, or that you provide it. The reason is the case number will be tied in to any open RFCs, bugs, hot fixes, or any type of issues that are re that are made to the development or product group uh, as a result of your case. And so it's always a good reference because we can always get to any of that other information from that case number when you use it because it's so central. We ask if you have steps to reproduce this issue, you provide those or give us a walkthrough for such, a, such as a video or other type of information. Uh, coding issues can be kind of tricky. It's hard sometimes to explain, but if we see it or you can get a visualization, that's always very good. If not, if you, if you have an issue that, again, is only reproducing, say, in production or in a user's environment, we have several tools that are available depending on the issue, different types of tracing, different types of logging that are available and will certainly help with any of those. Uh, the other thing is uh, if you do go through the admin center uh, to open an issue, you sometimes you need to specifically request that you work with the office developer team, for historical reasons they're called Visual Studio Office Developer. That is the group in Premiere that is specifically set up to do add-in development. If you open through the services hub, you'll get to them automatically. This is just, again, an issue we're working on. It should get proved better where it'll just be automatic in the future. But for now, just understand that you might need to do that to get to the best team for support. And I just would ask that if any of you are not feeling like you're getting, you have a support issue and you're not getting an issue resolved to your satisfaction, you can always ask for a review by any EE that's an escalation engineer in CSS Premier. It doesn't matter how you open or who you're dealing with, uh, EE reviews are always available. And basically, um, escalation engineers are, are the top level support that you can get. And um, uh, we do routinely review and of course work directly with a product group to make sure that your support issues are taken care of. And that is the basics of basically getting to open a support ticket. Does anybody have any questions? Hey Richard, it looked like there was one question in the chat. There, there might be a one or two more, um, but I think it was about SharePoint. Someone was trying to get help with SharePoint. Okay, yes, uh, you can use the O365 as well, the portal. Uh, I'm trying to see where is it. You have to scroll up to it. Uh, it was from Christian saying, when we try to open tickets in the admin center regarding SharePoint development, okay. they're getting closed saying we don't provide support. So for for developer issues, um, okay. So it depends on exactly how you're presenting it. So uh, say that you're doing it. Uh, probably the best in this case would be to say that it's it's uh, SharePoint on prem. Tell them it's an on prem issue. That will probably get. What I have a suspicion is 
the contract. Uh, again, it depends on how your your account is tied in on the back end, what product code it's tied to. If it's tied to a cloud services, you probably are talking to the cloud folks, and they're probably saying, yeah, we don't do that. And uh, the best way to say is, no, we're doing SharePoint on-prem. We're doing add-in development. It doesn't matter whether it's on-prem or not. You just want to make sure you get it to the right group, If if and it would depend on the contract. The other thing that you could do is talk to your ADC or your TAM, assuming you have a Premier or ADC contact. If you don't, you can also reach out to the support line. You can call support directly. Uh, that would be the other way of doing that to, to make sure that you're getting that. It, you shouldn't. Uh, so there are restrictions on who, who and who can't get uh, help with developer issues. It is based on the, the licensing. All right, so it's so we only offer it for enterprise and premier, and so if if you have a contract and it's a subscription and it's tied to a subscription that is something else, uh, it may be also that you're being denied to that. But uh, my guess is that it's just going it was going to cloud only. Thanks, Richard. Mm-hmm.